We are on the road now in traffic on the way to Maasai Market. This is what Nairobi traffic looks like. A little bit. See when we get there. We've reached, so it's mask on. Mask on, mask on, baby. Maasai Market at Junction. So this is a market that moves. Owned by no one, owned by nobody, but a whole bunch of vendors. We're not there yet, but we're on our way. This boy got distracted. We have arrived. Wase Chopo. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, okay. So we made it. We are here. And there are plenty of things. Plenty of things. I'm gonna need my battery for Impesa. So we're gonna do a little bit of recording and a lot of bit of shopping. So I'll see you on the flip. I'll show you what, what they have here. I'm here trying to find my mom. Anugali cooking stick. A stick for cooking. No recording? Okay. Okay. Look at this. Beautiful Maasai market. Yes, sir. So much beauty, so much colors. This is our Africa. Our Kenya. Aye. So much beauty. Yeah. Oh, Cecil. We found it. This is what my mother was looking for. This is it. I'll get back to you. You see how you have to bargain? <laughs> you have to. The negotiation. They're beautiful. Like this is really nice. Yeah. I think so. So, we are back from Maasai Market. As I said, the market is a market with no central ownership. It moves around the city of Nairobi. This one was at Junction Mall on the sixth floor, sixth floor like bruh man. And um, I'm going to show you what we harvested. So, this was the mother load. All this beautiful stuff. Let us zoom in to the top left. This is my boy's, my boy's top right here. Um, I got one that's very similar, so my lady insisted he get one. This is about 800 shillings. This is called, I believe, Dira. My first time hearing the term, if I said it incorrectly, correct me. Dira. This is also about 800 shillings. And then I ran into something so lovely one of my favorite games chess <coughs> bless me um this is an african themed chess board isn't that nice i expect to get a lot of bodies on this board right here not just for decorative pur <coughs> decorative purposes bless me again okay so this stick right here is a cooking stick my mother sent me for this ah my bad this is fi about 1,500 shillings which is about $15 somewhere around there this was 200 shillings this is for for doing that good work this is for making ugali making corn yes sir make sure you put your forearm into it now this right here is called a Cecil tray Cecil tray it's pretty cool 
Well, my mother also sent me for this. This was also about 800 shillings, which is like $8. And then we got this. This is a beautiful dresser skirt belonging to my Auntie Dati. I'm sure she will look great in it. Um, I didn't buy that, so I don't I don't remember the price. But yeah, so this this was the harvest. So hey man, slide through the side market. They got the goods, man. They got the goods. Yeah, so in total, 800, 800, 1600, 200, 1800, 15, 28 plus 5, 33 dollars. We spent 33 dollars on this year. Yeah, so. Quick, quick, quick thing. I forgot to add the Cecil tray into the total. Um, as I said, the Cecil tray was 800. So 30, 3,300 plus 800. What's that? 4,100. So we spent $41, which isn't bad. That's not too bad for um, a very unique chessboard and uh, Kitenge for my son and Adira. Everybody was happy. But yeah. And I have been told that in order to prevent these from bleeding, what we're about to do immediately is put them in cold water with salt, let them soak, and I believe it's supposed to lock in the color. But yeah, that's it. That's all. That's Masai Market. They tried to prevent me from recording, so I, I couldn't get the best footage. But whenever I started buying things and they started being a lot more lenient, of course. But it's a beautiful place. Uh, glad to go. Thanks for tapping in. <laughs>